What parts of your body are most commonly used in a fight? Uh, your mind. Incorrect. Next. Your fists. Good, Billy. Next. Your sternum. Good, Danielle. Next. Your teeth. Your teeth. Good, Rachel. Next. Your tears. Your what? Your tears. If you get into a fight with someone, you could start to cry, and then you could get on top of them, and you could say, your evil intentions are making me cry, and then your tears could drip down into their eyes, and it could sting. What happens if you break your fist? Or your teeth? Or your breath, uh, sternum? Luckily, there's still a part of your body that utilizes over 17 different muscles that you can use to defend yourself. Your hips. As you can see in this diagram, the hips are divided into four major muscle groups. There's the lateral rotator group, the adductor group, the gluteal group, and the isosurnison group. The fourth group. Once I discovered this, I created what is perhaps one of the most covert techniques in Ameridote. I like to call it the thrust of freedom. Now, there are four major directions in the thrust of freedom. Thrust left, thrust right, thrust back, thrust to the front. Thrust left, thrust right, thrust back, thrust front. Left, right, back, front. Left, right, back, front. Left, right, back, front. One, two, three, four. Left, right, back, front. 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 The thrust of freedom is one of those moves that catches opponents off guard. Most people are expecting a punch to the face or a kick to the leg, but nobody is expecting a rock hard hip shot. Samson, in the Bible, maybe you've heard of it, killed a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of an ass. And a hip is like two jawbones which when you do your math means I hold the lives of 2,000 men in my hips, give or take. All right, now it's time for some drills. I want you to practice making contact with the thrust of freedom. So you're gonna grab the pad, get a secure position, and just practice a little thrust, okay? Thrust, use all those muscles, thrust. You can even double up, thrust, thrust. And as you practice this technique more and more, Eventually, you're going to be able to take on two at a time, okay? Attacker in front, attacker in back. Thrust, 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 thrust. And the important thing to remember is that even though the thrust of freedom hurts, doesn't mean it's not working. All right, let's practice that. I can't think of a better way to deter someone from wanting to beat me up than to violently hump them. However... I can't think of a better way to get someone to want to beat me up than to violently hump them. More thrust! There's not enough freedom in your thrust. Is this better? Here, let me show you. Watch. The power's in the hips. Like this. Oh. Oh. Understand? Mm -hmm. Power, get it? Yeah, okay. uh, again? Maybe once more. Okay. <clears throat> okay, just another. Okay. Got it? Yep. Everything nope. in the hips. Okay, once, just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's try it again. I just, um, I just need a, a minute. <clears throat> Take a breather. Stretch out if you need to. Thank you. Who? I'm sorry? 
Oh, Cynthia, right. The female. Um, she's not bad. She's got a long way to go. She's got a lot of spunk, though. You need that. You need spunk in a Maradote to survive. Um, other than that, nothing very noteworthy with her performance. To take my thrust of freedom to the next level, I purchased a stainless steel chastity belt from medievalunderwear.com, but I had to stop using it when I lost the key and had to call locksmith so I could go to the bathroom. I thought about just peeing in it, but I was afraid it would get rusty. Good, Rachel. Good form. Very good. Very good. Anthony, your turn. Uh, actually, I'd rather not. Everyone has to practice their thrust. This move's just a little embarrassing. What makes you say that? Hmm. I'll try without the pad. Rachel, rear thrust! Good, again! Excellent! Oh. Very good. You just have to feel it with contact and... Oh. Oh, boy. All right. All right, stay right there. I'll get some tissues. If you're going to win against a traditional fighter, you're going to have to use non-traditional techniques. And while the thrust of freedom requires you to punish parts of your body that are normally reserved for pleasure or bathroom functions, as long as my students are leaving the dojo with blood on the seat of their pants, I know that I've done my job.